Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tukhafato, and yeah, it is the beginning of 2025, and I see a lot of you guys are getting into computer science, and you're just starting your journey. I've been getting a lot of questions, so I thought I'd just share this video just to share, like, my experience, or, like, what to expect when you study computer science. It's been a while since I was studying. It's almost four years since I graduated, but yeah, I just thought I'd share, you know, some of the things I know, what I went through, what I wish I knew, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you still have any other questions please drop them in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer those but yeah let us get into it comes to computer science like what can you expect from the degree so first of all it's not just coding so once you study computer science it's a whole lot more than coding you might even have to do some other science subjects like geology that's what I did I had to do geology in my first year and you also do other subjects like statistics a whole lot of math and yeah I think the reason behind that with the other subjects is to help you like learn how to think and I didn't like it at the time but I understand it now but yeah there's a whole lot more than just coding so just be prepared for that but I really do think it really helps like just to build up your understanding your thinking process and yeah that's just one thing to consider or to just be prepared for there's a lot of different modules and yeah but it's a whole, it's a whole lot of interesting things and it's such a great time to build that foundation so in my first year I did um, modules like um, operating systems and it just really like gives you that understanding and I know a lot of uh, something that a lot of people are scared of when they get into computer science is not having like that coding background so it is a very like fast paced environment and it can be challenging at times it's like a whole lot of new information but they do get started from the beginning so you don't have to have like that background knowledge of um, like coding it, it is great to have it I started coding when I was like 14 so it really did come in handy for me to have that knowledge but you're going to learn a whole lot of things from the beginning and guys take it seriously it really helps you to build that strong foundation you learn about like data structures algorithms and a whole lot of information and it's really starting you from the ground and building up and things do build up on top of each other so from the beginning start like concentrating and don't just do it for the sake of passing that's a mistake that I made when I was studying computer science I was just like okay as long as if I give my 50% I'm good and then I'm out but you realize like even till this day I've been working for four years now and there's still concepts that I use from varsity that I learned in first year and it really helps you to build like once you understand like oh okay this is how the operating system works or like this is how computer networks work and so on you get to use it on the, like, day to day so it's not just for nothing so you're gonna be given all this information so yeah be, be sure to use it and build that strong foundation and it can be challenging at times I know like in high school I used to do well and I didn't put in too much effort it kind of like it just came easy to me what can I say but yeah I did well in high school it wasn't too challenging but once, once I got to varsity it's like a whole new different environment and there's so many new things like varsity you might be out of the house for the first time there's so many people different kinds of people and it can be a whole lot and also like I think like that age is when you start having like real life problems so there's you're also dealing with that so it can be so much to deal with but I think just focusing on like your end goal like okay if so this is what you want focus and yeah some of the things are challenging you might fail at some point obviously don't like be sure to from day one concentrate make sure that you don't fail and you know but you can end up failing in my first year for the first time in my life I failed at something and just failing was one like just shocking because that's something I had never gone through and then it's just like overwhelming like what does this mean but like sometimes guys that's life it happens look at me now you know I'm here I'm currently traveling for work as a software engineer so if you do fail or if something's a bit challenging just know you can always try again and you can do it so obviously try not to do that because I wish I feel like I could have avoided it if I made sure to concentrate from the beginning and actually realize there's a whole lot of theory and there's also some practical aspects so don't just focus on one side realize that these two come together so see how the theory relates to the practical aspects and how everything fits in and if you can 
build your own projects. There's a whole lot of projects in school and it's a whole lot of work, so you might not always find the time. But be sure to also make sure that you actually like try to apply the concepts that you're learning build some side projects and see how you can apply that. I think for me, it's such a great way to like learn practically. Sometimes when I'm just doing the theory, I don't really see the bigger picture, but once I apply it on something practical, then I actually see like, oh, okay, this is actually how this works and it just sticks in my brain. So if you can, try to apply the concepts that you're learning on some practical projects of your own. You can put them on your GitHub and yeah, it can help you get a job at a later stage. And guys, networking. I am super shy. I know you see me on this channel and I'm like, yep, 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 yep. But I'm super shy, super quiet, super reserved, and varsity. I didn't really talk to people and it's really important. There were people that came to like talk to me and I made friends. So guys, if you're an extrovert, reach out to the introverts. They like, they're probably just shy. They want to make friends and connect and you know, but if you're shy, like just try put yourself out there if you can. Try join conversations. Try to like, you know, in WhatsApp group something. Just try something but that is so important there's people like till today that like are in my circle that I met like on the first day of school and now we share like opportunities we learn together we're still growing together so just meeting people is so good also there's gonna be times like guys it is a challenging degree and it's good to have people that you can you know just work with, solve problems with. So just make sure, just try to be as involved as you can be. There's different ways. Whether if maybe if you're too shy on social media, try to see maybe if there's like a Discord or something that you can join where you can network with people. But it's so valuable, even like getting a job. Like my first like internship, I got through a WhatsApp, uh, a friend of mine actually sent me from like a WhatsApp group. So just, yeah, just make sure you're just in the circle so that you can actually network with people. There's usually like, um, that's another thing that I didn't do enough of. There's usually like um, things happening like hackathons at school or like just some talks or whatever, guys. This is such a great opportunity to be exposed to those things. And you're paying so much fees at the school. So make sure to use all the opportunities that you have at school. So just go to those events, go to those hackathons, to the talks, and there's different groups like sometimes it's like like an AI society or like women in tech group or something make use of those resources you really get to like meet people that you can stick with throughout life you guys may, might build some really great projects together learn from each other so do make sure to make use of those opportunities another thing is to kind of start looking at what you're interested in because computer science is so broad there's so many different things that you go, can go into like web development mobile development uh, DevOps AI <laughs> like there's so many different things that you can go into so I think it's a good time to actually once you like you actually get exposed to so many of these things so start seeing like oh actually which like field do I see myself going into which parts do I like more and yeah just just have that opportunity because you get exposed to so many different things and I think that's so great to be able to like yeah start thinking and give like have an opportunity to try something see like okay maybe I don't really like this oh I like this one I think this one fits better for me so use those opportunities and always learn guys like there's we have like we have like a structured learning system at university but there's also platforms like Udemy and stuff where you can take like courses so if maybe you find like oh okay I like to make websites and maybe the module at school is a bit short you can go into and expand your knowledge on that or like also as I mentioned before by building projects because that actually is what helped me build uh, to land one of my first jobs when I was in my final year and I got to work on like a real life uh, website sites and projects so because I was like I'd already started with web development in like my first year on the side I was just building websites trying to learn more about that so yeah don't just be limited to like learning what you are learning in school there's also such like we have the whole world to like explore these boot camps, there's hackathons, there's courses, there's YouTube videos, there's so much information out there. It can seem like a lot, but I think once you find something that you're interested in, be free to like explore that field. And another thing is, I know I'm just saying, learn guys, take school seriously, do all of this, but also take time to like 
also just enjoy life <laughs> if that makes sense because usually um when you're getting started you might be like straight out of high school and you know this is the time where you're just a student maybe you don't have other jobs or anything if you have that like privilege to have like just be doing school just be sure to like maybe enjoy life a little bit see just take a break because i think for me like life got real also like after like because it's like after Varsity, you go to work and it's just like work, 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 work. If you have side hustles, now it's work, side hustles, this, that, that, that. So like for me, Varsity was the last time I really had like free time. So even if you wanted maybe like to work on a project, then do that. I think it's a good time to explore other hobbies, if, even if they're outside of school. I think make time for that. If you want to join a sport and all of that, like I feel like feel free. A balance is good to have. Like yes, the degree can be challenging. There's a lot of work to do, but a balance is also good. So also make time for your other hobbies if you have them if you want to read go for a walk something do make time for that as well and yeah i think honestly one of the biggest like takeaways from this video if there's anything you're going to take away is just like focus on the basics and the key concepts they're going to teach you everything you need to know and just focus like that's one thing i really wish i did like i really just was just trying to pass and if i could go back now or really just sit down and make use of that like those opportunities there's so many things that now going back to relearn i'm like wow this is so interesting these are things i use like day to day but i never made use of that opportunity that i had and guys we've here varsity is not cheap we've here a lot of money to be there and i really wish i just made use of all the opportunities so guys if you have the privilege to go to varsity you get exposed to so many wonderful things the information you learn is so great so be sure to use it take your time and learn guys like <laughs> you know that's all i want to say like just learn like it's really things that you are gonna apply once you start working it's really things that are interesting especially like if this is really something Something that you're interested in you'll see that these things are so interesting so yeah just make sure that you focus on those key concepts because it just builds up on everything and it's not for nothing you'll get you'll get to a point where you realize like oh that's like this is why i was learning that because it affects this and this and that and it's so great to just have a broad understanding of everything yeah, that's my advice if you're going to study computer science guys it's a really fun degree i really enjoyed it got to build some really cool stuff and i get to do some really cool stuff even now so i love that and yeah guys it's been a great journey and like, i wish you all the best for your journey as well like this is such a great opportunity especially if it's really something that you're interested and passionate about you are gonna love it and it will be worth all the hard work and all the late nights and all of that and when the code doesn't work and all of that but yeah it's really such a great um degree to study i really enjoyed studying it i learned so much and i get to apply it now so yeah if you still have any questions drop them in the comment section i really hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye